Wait a minute, inoculating everyone in the world? The head of the Serum Institute of India, the world's largest vaccine manufacturer, telling the Financial Times there won't be enough vaccines available to inoculate everyone in the world. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Hey guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give a real quick shout out to today's sponsor, Virtual Shield VPN. And the reason I promote it, guys, is because I use it every single day and I know that it works and I've proven it in videos in the past. If you use the link in the description, you're going to get 50% off and that's going to help you protect your identity, your activity, and your location anytime you're surfing on the net. That link is in the description below. All right, it's time to weigh in on what the propaganda arm for the big pharma industrial complex has to say this morning. Hit it, CNN. In our health lead today, the CEO of American drug company Pfizer says there's a good chance we will know if its coronavirus vaccine works by the end of next month. But the world's largest vaccine manufacturer is warning today if the coronavirus vaccine requires two doses, the world will not have enough until 2024, as CNN's Athena. Okay, so we're not just talking about one dose that they want you to take. They want you to take at least two doses. Jones now reports. A major warning on the vaccine front. The head of the Serum Institute of India, the world's largest vaccine manufacturer, telling the Financial Times there won't be enough vaccines available to inoculate everyone in the world. What the hell did you just say? To inoculate everyone in the world. Until the end of 2024, at the earliest, if two doses are needed to provide immunity, as expected. So what are they saying to the government? We need more money, because we need to make more doses. We got to make sure we got enough of this stuff to inject in all America. Help us out, government. All of the studies are showing that to get an adequate immune response, it is going to require two doses, probably spaced a month you know, apart. But what we need to keep in mind is that it may not require, first and foremost, everyone in the world to get vaccinated, to slow down or even stop this spread. Meanwhile, may not require, but we reserve the right to change our minds because you know what? It's going to be way more profitable if we get everybody injected. A bold prediction from vaccine maker Pfizer, which is already manufacturing hundreds of thousands of doses in the hopes its COVID vaccine is deemed safe and effective. We will know if the product works. You know, we, we already know that's a lie. It's not hundreds of thousands of doses. We know that they're creating tens of millions, hundreds of millions of doses. We've already seen this before, guys. These people are 100% for making this vaccine because they're profiting from the sheeple. The tax cattle are funding all this. It's about science. In fact, the New York Times reports Caputo accused CDC scientists of sedition on Facebook, stating without evidence, the agency was harboring a resistance unit determined to undermine the president. Now, now, I should point out, Michael Caputo is a political appointee of the New York Times, uh, quoting him saying, uh, telling his Facebook followers, quote, scientists deep in the bowels of the CDC have given up science and become political animals. They also quote him saying, quote, there are scientists who work for this government who do not want America to get well, not until after Joe Biden is president. Jay. Remember. The Cat Dog Cat Organization and the Whiskey Hotel Oscar Organization are working in cahoots with Big Pharma. So this is all another massive dog and pony sideshow. All right, Athena Jones, thanks so much. Uh, let's bring in Dr. William Schaffner. He's a professor at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Dr. Schaffner, I want to start with your reaction to this New York Times reporting. Uh, Trump HHS official Michael Caputo accusing the Centers for Disease Control, or members of it, of sedition, having a resistance unit determined to undermine President Trump. You're a longtime advisor to the CDC. Uh, what's your reaction? Well, I'm very distressed, Jake, at those words because... That's not the CDC personnel that I know. They're as quickly as possible so that the American people can be as healthy as possible. And they have a wonderful track record going back to HIV, AIDS, Ebola, Zika virus. Wait, 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 wait. A wonderful track record? Guys, Google what he's talking about. I can't say it here on this platform. Google what he's talking about. That's what, what you're going to find is not a wonderful 
track record. I got to be real careful what I say here on this platform. In protecting the United States from invasion by infectious agents and dealing with them after they arrive. Yeah. They're a model for the rest of the world. And that's always what it's about for any kind of government funded or Gavi funded or Bill and Melinda Gates funded organization, right? They only care about Americans. They only care about humanity. This has nothing to do with profit. This has nothing to do with control. You can believe CNN. So, Doctor, this new reporting comes after CNN confirmed a different story uh, by Politico uh, that Trump appointees, including Caputo at, at HHS. Confirmed and Politico are oxymorons. CNN has confirmed this story through Politico. Good job. See, even CNN uses top shelf authoritative sources, guys. Uh, have been pushing to change language used uh, in these weekly CDC morbidity and mortality reports and other reports about the coronavirus. Uh, sources telling CNN that the political appointee's apparent goal was to make sure that the data released by the CDC did not undermine President Trump's political messages. We should point out that Caputo says uh, that they were just trying to make sure data drives policy, not, quote, ulterior deep state motives, unquote, from the CDC. Uh, what was your reaction to that story? Well, I find it abhorrent that political influences are trying and perhaps successfully in inserting themselves into the CDC communications, which have always been a model of science-based rectitude, very, very rigorous. They are Guys, this guy's using absolute terms. There's, there is, I, I am very limited in what I can say on this platform about the Cat Dog Cat and the Whiskey Hotel Oscar organization, but you know as well as I do, it was infiltrated a long time ago. It is a political organization. It is a for-profit organization. It is in the back pocket of Big Pharma. And, and for all intents and purposes, those organizations are Big Pharma. And they do stand to profit. Even the NIH profits and is going to profit from said VAXX. Are the Bible that everybody in public health reads, not only in this country, but around the world. We can't have them contaminated with politics. Politics should be kept out of public health. Politicians should be supporting public health, not trying to spin it. And Doc, uh, that, that's, guys, you, you have to understand the depth of the BS we're hearing right here. Politics is completely intertwined with the healthcare industry. That's what Medicare for all is all was all about. It is all about. That's what the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare was all about. Governments getting involved in health care. Politics getting involved in cat, dog, cat. Politics getting involved in the FDA or getting involved in the Whiskey Hotel Oscar. The, the world's largest vaccine maker warning if the vaccine ultimately requires two doses per person uh, that the world will not have enough of the vaccine until 2024. What might that mean uh, for any sort of timeline for returning uh, to more to, to some sort of normal. Oh, here. Oh, this, this is going to be good. But here's what they want people to do. They want people to fret CNN and Big Pharma wants people to fret and go, oh, my God, we got to beg the government to do something here. The government has to start funding Eli Lilly and Merck and Pfizer. This guy's a representative of or they just had a story here about Pfizer. They, they need to they need to energize with fresh funds and Novio and all these other big pharma corporations so that we can make sure that we have enough of the Bill and Melinda Gates VAXX to put into our bodies. They want people to freak out and they want you to realize and they're continuing to solidify this into the minds of the masses if we don't get the VAXX we can't go back to normal well we're thinking about the global economy and also the the economy here in the United States I suspect we'll have more vaccine for the United States before we have it for the entire world we have it for the entire world and some vaccines under development now require only one dose. So I think that timeline can be accelerated, uh, surely here at home and even around the world. I'm more optimistic than that. I wanted to get your reaction to President Trump's rally in Nevada last night. Um, it and now CNN is about to slam 
anybody who would dare go against the guidelines. Defied state regulations, thousands of people crowded indoors, very few masks, no distancing. Um, when you <laughs> anytime CNN reports on this, this is like, oh my God, they're not following the guidelines. Oh my God, the sky is falling. We must tell the king. <laughs> they act like meth addicts. It's like, oh my God, we gotta have that meth in our systems. We gotta do exactly what the guidelines say. If we don't, we're all doomed. I can't believe they're out there without their mask. I can't believe they're not social distancing. I can't believe they're not following the guidelines. <laughs> these images uh, what do you think well what i think jake is that the virus was there it was uninvited people brought it in it spread during those circumstances and those circumstances but remember it's still the, the virus may be there at that trump rally according to cnn but you'll never find that virus at a pro a blm protest or an Antifa protest, and especially, I mean, the virus doesn't make an appearance when you're breaking a window or burning down a business or flipping a car in the streets, but we know the virus was there at that Trump rally. We're actually 180 degrees opposite from current good public health practice that should not have occurred. We should not have these large gatherings. This is not a political statement. It's a simple public health statement. We need to avoid large gatherings today and for the foreseeable future. You know, we so you guys, you need to make sure you obey the Cat Dog Cat Organization and Whiskey Hotel Oscar and this doctor. And of course, always, always believe top shelf authoritative sources like the Counterfeit News Network. If you guys enjoy these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification icon, give it a thumbs up, share it with everybody you know. One of the best ways you can support this channel is by liking this video right here and sharing it with everybody you know, everywhere you can on social media. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to highimpacttv.com. That is my completely 100% undiluted, sensor-free platform where you will get it. You'll get it straight without a third party telling us what we can or can't hear. I will see you in the next heavily censored shadow ban video. While we have time and it still retains some of its perceived value, maybe it'd be a good idea to convert your worthless fiat into valuable storable food. Don't be the one who waits till the food riots start happening. You don't want to be fighting panicking people in the store over that last jar of peanut butter. At Prepare with High Impact Flicks, you can get up to three air and watertight gasket sealed ammo cans, each filled with a four week emergency supply. Seven food varieties, 2,000 calories a day, 284 servings, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and each meal comes in a resealable, heavy duty, four layered pouch. And it's got a 25 year shelf life. Every order of a four-week supply gets you $100 off plus free shipping. Here's how simple it is to make. I'm going to cook up some Granny's home-style potato soup. People are going to think I'm a culinary hero. You open the pouch, boil four and a half cups of water, stir the contents, simmer on low heat for 15 to 20 minutes, take it off the heat, then let it set for two to three minutes before you serve it up. Man, this stuff's so good. People are going to think Granny stopped by and filled your kitchen with a whole bunch of love. Well, if Granny does stop by, she's going to fill your behind with a whole bunch of buckshot if you keep talking with your mouth full. Wipe your dang beard off. It's embarrassing. So maybe convert some of your worthless fiat into valuable food while you still can. Order now and get 100 bucks off of up to three four-week emergency food supplies at preparewithhighimpactflakes.com. The link is in the description.